morning. We were talking this morning about <clears throat> shamans. And one of my favorite shamans is David Paladin, whose picture is on this book of his paintings, Painting the Dream by David Paladin. He was Navajo. And he suffered terribly as a young man. He was captured by the Nazis in the war and uh, put in a concentration camp and tortured on a regular basis for four years. But his elders told him years later that the reason he suffered so much as a young man was that he was being initiated as a shaman. And I visited his wife once after he had died, and she told me how he used to have visitors, uh, dead painters, who came to him uh, at night and dictated to him paint certain paintings. And she showed me the painting that Paul Clay dictated to him uh, years after Clay had died. So shamans live in two worlds, of this world and another world. Very special people, often broken open by suffering. Thank you. We'll see you tomorrow.